Hello, my friends of Hatari Labs. My name is Saul Montoya. Uh, this night we are going to do a very help, hand, useful tutorial about how to determine the areas of a mining project using just satellite imagery, imagery and QEIS. Okay, so here we have QEIS, and then you, on the description of this video, you will have two raster layers. So here we open the raster layers with this one. Have this folder, and on this folder you will for the okay maybe details you will have the two bands of a uh, Landsat eight yeah so it's a band four that is red and the band five that is infrared and those are already cut it because you don't want to have the whole. We just want to have a, a small piece. Here we have already processed it and it's not so heavy as well. So we open. Mm -hmm. Cool. So here you have band four and then here you have. If you plot band four first, then band five, you will see that here we have a mining project. So we want the extension of the mining project um, as a file I mean as a polyline or maybe as a polygon okay so how do we do this okay and in this case we want to do a we want to do much processing with few much numerical processes in, in a short time so that's why we are going to use processes being on QAS so if you don't have it I mean, it's already uh, from, it's come from the core of QAS. So if you don't have it, you, no, I mean, you have it, but you have it to activate it. So here, plugins, manage and expansion plugins and see that the plugin is activated. So we are going to work with process and toolbox from process. Okay, here I, we have the toolbox. I'm going to, and the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to do raster calculation here. So here we have raster, and on head all options, raster calculator, here we have raster calculator. That is the same raster calculator here, but the advantage here is that here we have a temporary raster file. So that's that's the main, pur one of the main purpose of this tutorial is to, to use temporary files because it's much quicker to work with this, okay? So here we have on raster calculator, we press it, Okay, and say that our band A is the band four, and our band B is band five. And it, it allows you to put one, two, three, four, five bands, yeah? But in this case, we're only going to work with just two bands. Okay, so here we say that B, that it's actually, I mean, we, we will process the NDVI. So the NDVI is near infrared, red, divided by min infrared plus red so it's b no in parenthesis b minus a divided by b plus a so here we have b minus a divided by b plus eight okay that's everything that we need in order to get an ndvi okay we just wait. And here we have the NDVI. Great. And the NDVI is called calculated. Okay. Cool. So then we need to do a reclassify. You see, actually, the mining process, the mining area is NDVI values. Yeah because it has no vegetation. Okay, so then we go, we, we do a reclassify, and then it's it's actually a tool from Saga, then, and then we are going to apply reclassify values simple, okay? Something that we need is, we have to check the system of reference here, and we are going, we are working in WGS 17 North, and this will be 
And this, the project has to be as well 17 north. So it's actually 3261. 617. Make sure that here you have WGS or UTM sound 17. Not. Okay. Yep. Okay. So yeah, it's it's really important that this is the same as this. Otherwise, I mean, if this is in geographical coordinates, it won't won't work. I mean, well, could work, but who knows? Yep. Okay. So here we have reclassify values. And then we go to calculate it. And then here, the replace condition is this third one, low value minus equal grid value minus less than high value. OK, and then here we put actually negative values. OK, that actually very low values. Replace it by, because this is, those are the ones that are the, those are the ones that are the mining project because it has, I mean, exposed rock has really low, uh, really, really low NDVI values. And this is, let's put them here. This will be say, okay. So that's everything you needed from this to this, this to this, and this to this. And then you just need a temporary table. Okay, run and wait. Here we have already our, uh, here we have our reclassify grid. So I'm going to do properties, think about the pseudo color, classify, the minor value is 10. Okay, great. Then we are going to do a polygonize because actually we want that this raster will be converted in polygon. So we hope this is a head polygonized, and here it will be, but the changed grid and digital number, and as well a temporary file. This is so easy to work with. Here we have the vectorize. Okay, then we are going to do some, we are going to do some. Uh, but what we are going to do is to addition. So we do we want this? No, we don't. We don't want this. So yes, delete starts here. Delete, delete, and delete. Okay, that is okay. And then we get out and save our. Okay, because we just want to do this. Okay, then we are going, we need to do uh, multi part to single parts because this vectorizes is actually, I mean, one uh, polygon. No, each item actually has many polygons. So we want to, to do it uh, that every item is a polygon. So multi parts to single part. And this is the vectorize it, and it will will create multi part to single parts. Okay, and now this is single part is exactly the same, but in this every item is just one part. Okay, and then we want to do it a dissolve. We want to do a dissolve from the single parts, and then we are going to join. Uh, By digital number, no, this all full. Uh, let's see what what it do, what it does. Mm -hmm. No, this is not the solve that I want. Solve.
Mm -hmm. Okay, this could take a little while. So uh, we are from Hatari Labs. We're actually a block in water resources and numerical modeling. So we have this YouTube channel. If you like what you see on this YouTube channel, please subscribe to the, our to our channel, and we are we have as well a web website and a Facebook and a Facebook um, profile. So you can like and you can share our content. Mm -hmm. We have as well a newsletter. So we delivering many interesting things in numerical modeling. Okay, here we have the dissolve. And from the dissolve, we need to do a filter because actually what I want is only the, because I have here I have many polygons, but I only want those that are higher, uh, who, whose, I want those who, whose area is more than 10 acres, 10 hectares. So, but first we needed to do another, that is another multi-part of single parts because actually this, uh, we need we need to run this, okay? It's the same, but it's, and here we are going to do, open a table, open a new field, this area. This is dollar area. Okay, and nothing else, just save my edits. And I'm going to do a filter, which area is higher than 10,000. Uh, 100,000 hectares. Okay, we put it okay, and this is it, that's it. And now this is the end of our numerical processing. Why? This is still a temporarily this is still a temporarily a uh, file but if we want to save it save us and i can change it because it's actually not well i can and i can say extension the proyecto minero and then i just run it Okay, and this is actually a shape file. So everything here is just temporary and is very helpful because you don't need it to fill all your hard disk with a lot of files that creates because you you only you do not only have the the problem is that I mean this is because this I have done this exercise before, but if you are really working with GIS, you will have a lot of trial and error and then you will get stuck with a lot of files. Okay. So this is the, this is of our, if I open the open layers here, uh, satellite, I put it here and then I just, I just want to do without, without no brush. And here I put it another color. Okay, here we see that the process is quite good because we have or we, we have already defined the extension of a mining project just by processing the satellite imagery of QGIS. And this is something that we can do in 10 minutes, maybe 15. Okay, so I do invite you to visit our website. And Please sign to our newsletter, follow us by Facebook or Twitter, and we will be up on numerical modeling. Okay, so, and then if you have some questions or, so, or something, please, you can go to contact, and on contact, you can drop your questions that could inspire us for doing some more tutorials. My name is Saul Montoya, and please have an, a uh, great night and see you in the coming tutorials. Bye bye.